Hello everyone, welcome to this presentation and today we will be learning about the geography of the ancient civilizations in Mesopotamia, Indus, China, Egypt, and Mesoamerica. But if you're new to this channel, please click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you will be notified of my new uploads. Give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. So let's start. Mesopotamia in West Asia the word Mesopotamia came from the Greek words meso and potamos, which means between and river respectively. Hence, Mesopotamia is sometimes referred to as the land between two rivers. These two and ancient rivers are called Tigris and Euphrates, while the land was called Al Jazeera, but was later called the Fertile Crescent. The Fertile Crescent is an arcing fertile land that stretches from the Persian Gulf to the east coast of Mediterranean Sea. This region was the cradle of the first civilization in the world, the Sumerian civilization. The regular overflowing of the Tigris and Euphrates River had caused flooding and left silt along the flooded area. The silt made the land fertile, suitable for agricultural purposes. Mesopotamia had no definite boundaries, which made it very difficult to defend from the hostile neighbors. It was conquered so many times and made it the seat of imperial capital of the different ancient groups of people, claiming its legitimacy over the area, like the Sumerians, Akkadians, Babylonians, Assyrians, and Trojans. Mesopotamia had witnessed the sprung of great empires forged by war and its eventual downfall one after another. At present, the big chunk of Mesopotamia rests in Iraq and a small part in Iran, Syria, and Turkey. The Indo Civilization in South Asia South Asia is a vast triangle-shaped peninsula. At present, it comprises the countries of India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, Nepal, and Maldives. The geography of this region is quite different compared to the rest of the ancient civilizations in Asia because it is isolated by mountain ranges like the Hindu Kush, Himalayas, and Karakurum in the north while it is surrounded by the Arabian Ocean in the west, Indian Ocean in the south, and the Bay of Bengal in the east. Hence, this region is also called a subcontinent. The Indus civilization pioneered along the Indus River. The top of the Himalayas mountain range was covered by dense ice. The flux ice was the source of water that runs down to the Indus River which is around 2,900 kilometers, all the way to the plains of Pakistan. The annual flooding of the Indus rivers made the land fertile and paved the way for cultivation. Although this region has natural barriers, it still suffered a number of invasions coming from the north through the Khyber Pass in the northwest. Many things about this ancient civilization are still unknown, mysterious, and unclear especially that its invented form of writing is yet to be deciphered. The Indo civilization was well known for its two largest cities, named Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. Both Harappa and Mohenjo-daro were centers of trade, and both had a very advanced city organization, including carefully organized houses, sewer system, and major and minor streets, as well as warehouses used for storing food and merchandise and large city walls. However, the relationship of these two great cities are still unclear, whether they are two independent cities or part of a larger kingdom, because the ancient writing of Indus people remained undeciphered. Neither sculptures of ruler nor depictions of battles and military campaigns have been found. Evidence pointing in either direction is not conclusive. Around 2000 BCE, the Indus Valley civilization saw the beginning of their decline. Their writings disappeared. The standardized weights and measures used for trade fell out of use, and thousands of cities were abandoned. The disappearance of this civilization is not entirely clear. Some said that the drying up of the Saraswati River was the main cause. Other experts believe of a great flood in the area that led to a catastrophic effect on the agricultural activity, making it no longer sustainable. Others also believe that a large group of migrants, identified as the Aryans, crossed the Hindu Kush and invaded the area. But this hypothesis is not unanimously accepted today. Thus, the once great ancient Indus Valley civilization came to an end. That's it for today. 
And again, please support my channel by clicking the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, and leave your comments down below. And thank you for watching.